Welcome back. As we age, health problems arise. That's no secret. But the importance of adapting to the challenges we face is crucial in fighting depression and helplessness. Faced with an incredible hardship of losing function in her right arm, our senior spotlight is overcoming challenges and is inspiring others to do the same. Meet my friend, Paulette Berganu. If I can, you will. Welcome to my world, the world of single-handedness. I had polio at the age of two, and it took me about five years for my thumb to actually function. But over time, with therapy and massage, I was able to gain some function. About 15 years ago, I noticed that I could no longer shake someone's hand, and they told me that I had post-polio. I know many people don't realize that many of us who had polio as youngsters who gain function can start losing it again as we get older. I realized that things were changing. I was going to have to make a lot more accommodations in my life. It was about two years ago, Christmas time, I was preparing dinner for friends. And they said, you know what, Paulette, we've watched you prepare this entire meal with one hand. And do you realize how many people out there struggle with that, whether it's temporary or, or permanent? Try drying your hair, <laughs> you know, when you've only got one hand. Not that easy. Or taking a lid off of a jar. And that's when, you know, SOS, Successfully Optimized Single-Handedness, was born. <laughs> when I'm cooking or baking, let's face it, we use measuring cups. That's how we do our ingredients. I can scoop, which is not an issue, but I have a harder time actually getting it leveled. I'm starting to do some Facebook Lives with products. One of them is called a Black and Decker Lids Off. Now you know, you don't have to have polio to struggle with getting the jar lid off. See, it grabs the base of it, the top, and the next thing I know, the lid is off. It's handy for anyone, not only single-handed people. <laughs> Reality is, is there are so many people that don't have access to support. If you've had a really serious illness, a lot of times occupational therapy will come in and help you with adapting to your environment. But so many people don't have that. And that's why I feel I can do my best work is to help those individuals navigate the whole process of being single-handed, whether it's temporary or permanent. I find it really, really beneficial to, um, to just be as authentic as I can. I'm not Martha Stewart. <laughs> to take a vegetable, like a zucchini, nice and secure, it allows me then to take my knife and start cutting. Now, there is no way to try to do that on a surface. It's going to slide all over the place. I know the struggle, and to be able to show that to someone, to say, hey, you know what? You can do this. And that's really why I'm putting myself out there, because I know that they can do things that they maybe initially say, oh, I can't do that. You know, I've been there, I've struggled, and I'm not saying everything I do is perfect, and sometimes I have a hard time myself, but I want people to know the possibilities, because they're out there. And as long as I keep that in my mind, I can be creative and inventive. Maybe I've you know, done something before that now I can't do, I'll look at it and say, okay, so how can I do that now? Paulette is just so inspiring, has uh, two cute little dogs and Aww. takes care of them. And then her show from uh, the way she sets up the lights to the, her set to her kitchen, showing people how to use just one hand. It was really, really inspiring. Did she have someone to help her to, to kind of get started on this? So she did it all on I her think own? She, she does have a friend helping oh. with the website and stuff. Mm -hmm. But other than that, she edits the show by herself. You Gosh. know, we have a team. 
here doing oh. Aging and Awesome. She does it all by herself. What? Super inspiring. And she wants to learn some Italian. So. I would be more than happy to meet her, and I would be more than happy to share my Italian heritage. That's right.